Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to learn how to manually install WordPress. So, what you need to do, uh, I'm using Coda, uh, it's good for, it's a good FTP client and coding combined, it's just my personal preference, you can use whatever you want, uh, but you need to pick a place on one of your servers where you'd like to install WordPress. So I'm just going to make a new folder. This particular server has a bunch of stuff on it already. Uh, so ignore this all. This is actually a WordPress install on my root directory and these are all different folders. Uh, but we're going to just make a folder called test here. And so it's going to be uh, FCA marketing slash test is where I'm going to install WordPress. So you need to go and download the latest version of WordPress, uh, which I already have here. You need to select all the files and that they give you and upload them to the server. Now while that's uploading, let's uh, make the database. So let me go to my... Uh, let me go to my control panel. By the way, this this program called One Password is awesome. It just stores all of your passwords and everything, so you can have highly encrypted passwords and not have to remember them. Uh, it's just a great program. Um, so here's my control panel. Uh, just go to MySQL database wizard. Let me make a new database called FC Mark Test. Now it's a good practice to um, make note of. I'm just going to make simple ones, but it's good to take this and write this down uh, so you have it available to you when you go to. Let me just write. Actually, I'll just write this down real quickly. That's the database name. Okay. Next step. Now the user. Make a uh, uh, okay. And then you do write this stuff down. Just so that's the database username, database password, database name. So now my database is created. That's all I need to do in the control panel. Just make the database and collect the information for it to access that database. Now, uh, now this is the... It's still uploading. So you, uh, uh, what we need to do is... Um, wait for this to upload, really. And once that's completed to upload, say, I'm getting errors here. Um, I just gotta wait for this to upload. So I'm gonna actually pause this while this uploads. Be back in a second. Okay, so there. Uh, so I uploaded the entire uh, WordPress download here into this folder. Now the one more important thing we need to do. As you see, this wp-config sample file, uh, what I usually do is duplicate that. You don't need to duplicate it, you just really need to change the name, but it's personal preference, what you want to do. But you just got to get a file in there named wp-config that is the same as this. So uh, now this is where we need our database name. So just copy and paste. name, the user, and the password, save that file, then go to your, um, to, to the root where you have it installed, and this should come up, if you did it all correctly, this should come up. 
and this is where you pick your And then there's the back end, and here is the front. And you just installed manually WordPress. Hope this helps.